Cleveland Cavaliers are 24 minutes away from moving on to the NBA Finals. 32 point first quarter, 59 points in the half, and a 17 point advantage at the midway point here in game four of the Eastern Conference Finals. It's the Sprint Halftime Report. This is called the slow pan to the set with uh, Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Charles Barkley, and Kenny the Jet Smith. Well, Cleveland certainly playing like they want this thing to end tonight, aren't they? Yeah, it's going to end tonight. You know, it's going to be disappointing for the Hawks who had a terrific season. I wanted them to win at least one game, but it's not going to happen. Well, the things that they weren't able to do well in games one and two are really kind of coming back to them in game four. Uh, the inability to make a decision on what you're doing with LeBron James on a consistent basis. You know, either making him a, I, I don't think you, again, I don't think you let him have 30 points and 12 assists, which he's on pace for doing, and win a basketball game. Either make him one or the other. Uh, but this, you know, he is, he's going to find people regardless. He's always going to find people. And you have to rotate quickly and rotate with a purpose. But these type of shots, you know, those are the ones you shake his hand. But, you know, for him to be on pace for 30, 32 points or and 12 assists is just giving him too many options to beat. Yeah, 15, 4, and 6, and uh, very possible that he'll have a, a triple-double, average a triple-double for this series by the end of this game. What you think about uh, game four to this point, Shaq? Well, you know, so far in the first half, the Cavs just have that it factor. Kenny, you know what I'm talking about, the it factor. Cities behind you, we can close them out, go to the finals. He left went to Miami and came back. They just had that hit factor. Everybody's playing well. JR still continues to hit tough shots. Kyrie came on and got him in double figures. The crowd goes crazy when Della Vanova's name is pronounced. So right now they just had that hit factor 24 minutes ago, and part of their dream will become now, reality. How about Kyrie's first half? Well, he played, it's interesting. First of all, he shouldn't be playing because if he was well enough to play, he would be guarding Jeff T. Uh, they got, they're not letting him guard Jeff T. But he played well, Ernie. But like I say, uh, they're going to win still this soon, though, Chuck. Yeah, still I, will, yeah. I mean, I don't understand, Ernie, why they're playing this kid. He has some good numbers, but we still got 24 minutes. All it takes is one, one bad step. But like I say, if he was 100%, he'd be guarding Jeff T. They're not letting him guard Jeff T. That tells me something right there. Yeah, I, I, you know. They've won three games, like we said, without him. Uh, there is no benefit. The whole thing about him getting confidence, that's the last thing that Kyrie Irving struggles with is confidence. The only thing well, he struggles with is his knee. That's and, right, but confidence in being able to physically, it's not to, yeah. that's what they're talking about. They're not talking about confidence in your game. Yeah, but this one game is not going to give you the confidence to say my knee is fine. It's going to be a series of games that, that does that. And the more you rest a injury, obviously we all know the better it gets. He would have had two weeks because there's a different intensity of when you're working her out, Shaq. And when you're playing, that cut, that movement is much more volatile and it, when you are playing in an NBA game. And it's just not worth the risk. In my estimation, it wasn't worth the risk for the reward of what they're going to yeah, get. Right. Wasn't he, worth should have, it. he should have took the extra rest, continued to swim and run and do bike and hopefully wait for the But can't, can't you should guys understand no. as competitors no. why no. they can we're, play? We're, we're you have to look three, at the big picture. Three, First oh. of all, they're up three zip, Bernie. And listen, these some chihuahuas out here from Atlanta. There's a pit bull out there in Golden State. So you can't take no chance of getting hurt in this in a closeout game where you're up three zip. Yeah, that's, a different, player. that's a different animal what out kind there. Of dogs that's a chunk. pit bull out they there have, in Golden State. They have led. That boy's not messing around out there. <laughs> They've led by as many as 20. It's a 17-point oh, game and a half. Oh, Ernie, that's, yeah. imp that's impressive. Oh, oh. That's impressive. Oh. That's impressive. How about it? Aren't you going to try to do that? He actually said he was going to win and he got on top, year. and he certainly did. Yeah, How about that? Whoa. That seat. that seat couldn't hold That's crazy, man. Welcome to the Sprint Halftime Report, live from the Eastern Conference Finals. Bring in your Verizon or AT&T bill, and we'll cut your rate plan in half. Cut your bill in half. 
time highlights. We're talking about 60 win teams Whoa. that got swept in the playoffs. Rick Barry's Golden State team did. Or, or swept the bullets, I should say. I was going to say, it don't look like they're jumping around. And they then got swept. Shaq knows what it feels like twice. The Magic got beat by Chicago. Yeah, but get some of that, Rodman. And the Lakers. Oh, Vinny, what happened? The Lakers by Utah. So twice yeah. out of those three, you were part of it, Shaq. Hey, I got swept six times. Before. But that's a 60-win team getting swept. I know. But you know what, Arnie? Before you, before you succeed, you must first learn to fail. There you go. Knock it down, man, man. That's two games right there. That's not two games. That's two games right there. <laughs> you you always talk about team. softness. Way to go, mail man. That's a flagrant team right there. How about this guy, man? This is, this is, oh, this is tremendous. I could do that. That's, yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. I'll do that right now. Okay. <laughs> right off the stage. Tremendous. That was awesome, man. That was awesome. That was we'll be Coming back here with more in just a second. The Sprint Halftime Report live from the queue in Cleveland. Yeah, we could yeah, be 20 sh uh, sh sh minutes Bahamas. away from that. We, we're 24 minutes. I'll be on the beach in the Bahamas tomorrow in that yellow speed on America. Well, forget America. I'm going to the Bahamas. Well, that is America. Oh. No, America, the Bahamas not. I heard the Bahamas just being evacuated. <laughs> <laughs> You've been watching the Sprint Halftime Report live from the Eastern Conference Finals. Bring in your Verizon or AT&T bill and we'll cut your rate plan in half.